Hi guys, in this video we will create register, login, and maintain a login state within the app. We will use Firebase email and password authentication. So let's create a new Firebase project. Enter the project name. Here click on continue and then select the Google Analytics account. Then click on create project. Next click on the continue button, then click on the Flutter logo. We will add Firebase to our project through Firebase CLI. If you haven't set up CLI, you can watch that tutorial first. The link will be in the description. I have already set that. I would move forward with the next button. Then I would copy the configuration command and run it in the project terminal. This fetches supported platforms and we can press enter to add Firebase configuration. It will give us IDs for each platform. Then we will move forward and press next, then copy the code and in the main.dart file, we will paste it below widget flutter binding. Next, we would add and import the packages. Now we will add the Firebase auth package and add the auth service dart file. Create a new class, Firebase auth service. Then would create an instance of Firebase auth. Now let's enable register methods, then in build we would open authentication. Then get started. And we would enable email and password. I would also enable phone, as I would create for phone auth, Firebase login system. Now in the Firebase auth service class, we would add a register method to register the user. And we would pass email and password it, this function, to register with email and password. Then auth.create user with email and password and pass the email and password. This would give us user credentials and this should be an async function. Then we would return the credential dot the current user. Then we would copy this function and rename it as login for login user and replace this with sign in with email and password. Then we would create another function, sign out to sign out users. Then we would add an auth dot, sign out to the end login state. This would be an async function. Then we would create another function to get the login state of the user. This would return us to the current user. Then we would create a new function to register the user in the register screen. We would call the register function in the Firebase auth service class and pass the email and password to it. But we should make sure the email and password are not empty. This would be an async function and it would return current user after registering the user. If the current user is not null, then we would redirect the user to the login screen. And here I pass only the screen to the navigation function. Then we would update the UI with the register button tap and update for successfully registered users. Then we would terminate the app and build again. And if you are facing a min SDK issue, we can add min SDK 23. Then rebuild the app and enter your email and password. Let on tap, we can make a call to register the user and try again. Now if we check here, new user register data would appear here. Now on the login screen, add the login function.
this should be an async function, and it wouldn't be a login user, but a login. We would pass an email and password. Now we would make sure the email and password are not empty. If the user is not equal to null, we will redirect the user to the home screen. Let's set on tap call to login user function and refresh, and try to log in will the email and password we have created for the account. Now we can see it, we have successfully logged in. And let's add the login state for it. Let's wrap it with future builder. And the future would be Firebase auth service dot get user. It was login user, which was confusing for me, so I changed its name to get user. If the snapshot's current state is connecting, then we would show a loading spinner. And if the snapshot has data not equal to null, we would redirect the user to the home screen, else we have to redirect the user to the login screen. Make sure you have added snap data.current user, I have missed that current user after data. Now if we reload the app, it will go to the home page, and our login state is working fine. Please subscribe to our channel if you have enjoyed this video.